James Holder for iFilm London. I'm at Rose Hill ABC today to catch up with two-time British champion Lenny Dawes and his trainer, Mr. Ian Burbage. All right, lads? All right, mate. All, All right, yep. Good job. Yep, lovely. Thank you, mate. Have you missed me or what? Absolutely. The place ain't the same without the horse. You know that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, first things first, what I want to say is, Len, um, well done on getting yourself in this position to get this shot at the European title. Uh, Michaela Di Rocco, I hope I pronounced that right. How much do you know about this opponent? Um, he's a decent decent opponent. He's won the EU title before, previous times, a couple of times. Um, been European champ, um, Italian champion. So, he's yeah, he's... He's the opponent I need to be fighting now. And for the European title, it's, it's a big one for me here. So I've got to beat this kid. Uh, Ian, again, if I can ask you, how much do you know about this, this fighter? Um, not a great deal. I mean, we watched him on YouTube. We've looked at his record and sort of researched all the people that he's boxed. So we've sort of even gone over his opponents and, and what they've done. Um, as I say, we've got the four or five fights that are on YouTube. We've watched them. We've also asked another couple of people to send us some videos. So... We're going to have a look at him. Say, he looks pretty, in the fights we've seen, his style is pretty much the same all the way through. So we're working on stuff to counter that. And, you know, I'm sure, that, I'm sure confident that Lenny goes out there and does a job. You know, forget all the Italian, get robbed and all that. He'll take it out of the hands of the judges. I had the pleasure to catch up with uh, your promoter, Mick Hennessy, the other day. I spoke to him, uh, A, about Tyson Fury and Huey Fury. And then again, regarding your fight going to Italy um, and the purse bids. Do you think Mick done enough to win the purse bids for you, Len? Well, the, any promoter, they can only put so much in, can't they, as they're out of pocket. And Mick went to his highest he could go. And unfortunately, it's just slightly lost out to the Italians. So now we've got to go out there, which is unfortunate. But yeah, I know I can do the job out there. It's not going to faze me at all. Having spoke to Mick the other day, I actually do believe he went all out to win that fight. Um, it, I could see it in his face that he, he wanted you to put a card together for that, you know. It would have, would have been lovely to have over here. As you say, I would have sold the place out. And unfortunately, it's not that way. I've got the hard route. But yeah, I'm, I'm capable of doing it. I know I can do it. So there's nothing to worry about. Uh, Mick hennessy has got a show, I think, in Madison Square Garden. Tyson Fury and Huey Fury going over there to fight. Um, I believe it's there. Do you think if he would have won that purse bid, there's a, there's a chance that you guys could have been on that bill, maybe fighting for out there? Possibly. As you say, you, you never know in Boxing Day what can happen, what's around the corner. If if he had won the purse bids and we got the fight on earlier, you never know. I could have got a, a, to fight someone out there. Would have been a nice experience. But that can all come. I know it can come. So looking forward to it. Uh, you're well into your training camp now. I'm ho hoping you're well into your training camp now. H how's it been going? Can you give us a little insight? Yeah, training's going very well. We're miles in front, I'd say. We've done plenty. Um, it's just looking sparring partners now. Uh, seven weeks to go. So, yeah, we're well in front, razor sharp, working on things, doing our homework and, yeah, really looking forward to this and feeling in good shape. Uh, plans for sparring. Is there anything you can tell us who you're going to bring down? What what, what do you look into, looking out for? About, probably about eight to ten names that we want to work with. Obviously, there's... It's a bit difficult to name names because I've got to clear it with their trainers. In all fairness, it'd be disrespectful to go past them. But we've got good varieties of, of, of sparring partners. Some are very, very similar to, to, to Di Rocco. Um, others, we want to take Lenny out of his comfort zone and make him work with some that are a little bit more, not so much wild, but throw their shots from different angles so that he's used to blocking anything that could possibly come his way. Um, Alan Smith's been a great help down at Ibox. He's been a good support. Martin Bowers at the Peacock, he's going to help us out as well. Um, there's another couple of fellas that we're going to use. We're just waiting on them to sort of confirm dates. But as I say, we've got people lined up. We've got about eight different people lined up, and we should cover everything that DiRocco can and will do. Um, and he'll be, he'll be, as I say, more than ready. So we're going to sort of have some here. We're going to go and travel because we want that different environment of Lenny having to adapt to being somewhere different, um, which obviously he's going to have to do out there. Um, no, we're all planned out. We're, we're sort of ready to go. We'll start sparring next week and then build it up from there and then bring it back down so we're ready for the 27th of April. I've heard a few people talking about maybe coaches, um, some local, people from the local area want to make the trip to Italy. Is there anything that you guys are doing to link it up or to get everyone travelling together in some kind of convoy? Is there any thoughts of that then? Uh, yeah, it would be nice. We're still waiting for confirmation exactly where it's going to be in Italy. So at the moment we can't book anything up. Uh, but yeah, it'd be nice to have a, a nice following go out there, make some noise and, you know, push me on. But as you say, it's I know it's it's, it's not going to be a massive support coming with me, but as you say, I'm, I'm going to do a job anyway, so and I can have the support when it's I come back. It's how many people have sort of said that they want to go out there. You know, I know a lot of people sort of go, yeah, I'll go out there. 
But it is amazing how many people are really looked in and coming back to me and sort of saying, oh, look, we know flights are on EasyJet for this and Ryanair for this and that. But at the moment, all we know is Perugia and we don't know a definite venue. Um, so we've got to make sure that it is Perugia and obviously make sure it is a venue, then people can start planning their journey. So that's all we're really waiting on. But, you know, that's not going to affect us and our training. We're cracking on and we'll be ready. So... A uh, fan's point of view, there's nothing better than following a British fighter abroad and seeing him pick up a European title or whatever the case may be. So, uh, yeah, I think it's a really appealing idea. To us. No, that's right. It is, it's going to be a nice trip. As you said, I've never boxed abroad as a professional. Done it many times as an amateur, and that never fazed me. And, yeah, I'm going to be switched on up for it. This is, this, is, this is the big one for me, win this, and it opens many doors. So, looking forward to it. Uh, I interviewed Darren Hamilton recently. I know you, you kind of, we spoke about this before, you're not kind of looking back at the moment. Uh, he's got some lyrics about you, Len, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's doing well, isn't he? I can't knock it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm ahead of that. Why do I really want to come back to that now? It's maybe later on we can do it. But yeah, I'm, I'm moving on to bigger and better things now, win this. Um, but yeah, no, he's, he's doing well. He's British champion, but he's, you know, he's still got some hard fights in front of him. But yeah, I'll definitely fight him, as long as, you know, further down the line, definitely. Um, we seem to have gone a bit dark in here, so if you don't mind, just hold that thought a moment. I'm just going to add a little bit of light. I think we're on a timer. Uh, we are in the dressing room of Rosa ABC, by the way. Uh, so, yeah, all well, the magic happens. Um, yeah, I wish you guys the best of luck with, with the European shot. It'll be great for you to bring it back, and I just think it gives other fighters like Darren Hamilton, Adil Anwar, something else to chase. I think, yeah, you bringing it back and bringing it back to Britain is a really good move, and... Well done. No, yeah. no, look, as I say, we're looking forward to it. And I'm, you know, I know it inspires other people, but it's, it's nice to see that also that someone who's been about as long as Lenny has finally getting the shot he deserves. You know, Mick's worked really hard for us for, to get this. So, you know, we're really appreciative of that. And he did chuck in a big bid, but unfortunately he was just beat. But that's all right. We look at that as a, as a positive because, you know, the Italians must be desperate to get it on home soil because they might not be that confident in their boy. So we don't care. We go anywhere where we've got to go. It's, it's a big opportunity for him. He go and get it. Cut the defences. Then you, you're looking at a possible world title. Why not? Why not? So no, it's onwards and upwards. One thing that Kennedy did say as well, if he gets put back, he's going to force their hand. You know, this is this is fight's going to be happening. It's just a matter of where by the looks of it. So. No, definitely. Yeah, that's, that's it. He's, you know, the, the, we got mucked around with dates and... As you say, it still hasn't been 100% confirmed. We know it's in Perugia, but we're still waiting. So, yeah, they mess us around. The fight's got to happen on, you know, them dates. And if it's not going to be him, it'll be someone else. So, yeah, we're aiming for that date and we'll be ready, whoever it is. Have you given up your EBU title or have you relinquished that? I've had to, yep, yeah, to push me forward for this EBU. Um, but, yeah, that was a, a nice title to win. As you say, it's... Uh, it's, it's up the ladder, and now we're going one more bigger. So, looking forward to it. Oh, mate. Well, if this goes well, a couple of defences, who knows? You could be in that shot for that world title, Lenny, you know? Well, I see everyone dreams of fighting for a world title, and it's, you know, I'm almost there now. We can win this European title. I, I know it can be done, and, you know, the way I train, it, it, it's everything to me, you know what I mean? I've, I've lived it. I don't cut corners. So, why can't I do it? You know, it's... It's there. I've just, just got to keep pushing on and I know I'll make it. Well, guys, I wish you the best of luck with Italy. Um, I'm no doubt I'll see you before then and give you a wish you the best of luck again. But thank you for taking time to talk to Half from London. I really do appreciate it. And yeah. You and Coogan are available for sparring? <laughs> I'm available for sparring. I don't know about Coogan. Coogan keeps talking about it with Adam Booth. It's looking very strong. You know, Adam, I think he's weakening a little bit. He might take, you, take him on. Bath spars, that bath sparring, that'd be about it. This is, this is James Helder for I Film London with Lightly Lenny Doors and Ian Burbage. Thank you very much. <laughs>